Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Mission X. Last time, we kind of wandered around for a while and didn't get much done. Let's see if we can figure out how the fuck to get to the guy's cloud's office. Honestly, at this point, I think it would probably just be easier to fucking find Cloud and reverse pickpocket him or something, but I don't think that's possible. Speaking of okay, easier. You ask for <clears throat> oh, upper office's key. Did I have that already? I don't know. Let me check. No, I didn't. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I gotta wait for this again. Whatever, I'll just cut this part out. Hang on. No, I don't think that'll work. Something there? No. What are they talking about? That is the very <sighs> well, that's the relief. <laughs> she led me to the street, and we're Mr. on our way to the carriage. To understand good. The scope of my You're not with them, she. I speak of good. I'll leave when you leave, Dante. No sooner. Mr. Cloud must decide for himself what my offer is worth to him. Thus, you must explain them. That is the point of this meeting. How can he determine the value of these goods when you have not told us what they are? I demand that you explain the exact nature of your bid, so that Mr. Cloud may properly determine if your bid is in actuality higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you can simply outbid me? I think not. Oh, my dear Lord Reputo. I should think I'd prefer to keep you in the dark. But you needn't worry. I don't intend to hold anything from Mr. Cloud. That is, once we've had a chance to speak privately. And perhaps a bottle of wine is in order. I have a bottle I've been saving for a special occasion, Mr. Cloud. After I have lined your pocket. You are a massive bullshitter, aren't you? The liability internet. of this casino will no longer burden your mind or your bank account. Then you can retire into comfort and treat Lady Antoinette or whomever you desire to as much spirits as you would like. However, until then, I suggest you keep your mind on business and not recreation. Well, I see no reason we can't do both. It makes things ever so much more pleasurable, wouldn't you say, Mr. Cloud? Oh, I do, milady. Life is a game. I knew it. Which is why my offer includes quite a bit of recreation, Mr. Cloud. Ooh. I see no ah. reason we shouldn't enjoy our business transaction. Now that's what I like to hear. It would be unfortunate for me to be unable to participate in the recreation with you, Mr. Cloud. But should it end up being Lord Reputo's gold lining your pockets, I, I fear it would be simply out of the question. Yes, very unfortunate. What's clear to me is that if it was truly gold you sought, you would simply keep the casino for yourself. I think there are other things in this world that interest you, Mr. Cloud, and I understand only too well that there are just some things that gold cannot buy. You see, Lord Reputo? I'm afraid to do anything risky because I'm afraid that It'll, that if I have to load, it'll reset for the, for the start of all this dialogue. She understands me very much. No, actually it sounds like she understands very little. Gold can get you anything in the city. Gold Not will buy you anything. happiness, pleasure, everything your heart desires. I offer you cold, hard 
gold. You will be able to hold it in your hands and hold. polish it until you can see your face in every bar. With it, you could buy whatever it is this lady offers you 100 times over. Mm, you do have a very good point, Lord Rebuto. Does he? 100 times over. There's a lot, though. That's quite a bold statement considering you don't even know what it is that I'm offering. Exactly. Mr. Wait. Cloud, is it... Oh, and she's restarting. They're they're literally talking in circles. I'll to you that this lady takes you for a fool. My bid, unlike the bid of Lady Antoinette, has been made incredible. It sits before you. Why do you still contemplate? Oh yes, Lord Rebuto, your bid is very plain. Very plain indeed. <laughs> However, Lady Antoinette's bid is not plain at all. It is fascinating. That is the very reason I still contemplate. <laughs> you see, Lord Reputo, Mr. Cloud is beginning to understand the scope of my intentions. I speak of goods that do not have a value set in stone. Mr. Cloud must decide for himself what my offer is worth to him. Thus you must... That is the point of this meeting. It's like some kind of weird philosophical debate between... Uh, being a materialist and a whatever. Yeah, it's like. Oh my dear lord! Look it out. A complete a, a, a master of sophistry, running rings around Reputo. I don't who intend is... to hold anything from Mr. Cloud. That is, once we've had a chance to speak now, privately. Now, I'm fairly certain this Perhaps guy... A bottle of wine is in order. I have a bottle I've been saving. Okay. Hello, pass it all! Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll just... Yes, very unfortunate. What's clear to me is that if it was truly gold you sought, you would simply keep the casino for yourself. I think there are other things in this world that interest you, Mr. Cloud. And I, I need to take this one out. Well, there are just some I don't know. That gold can Probably not. You see, Lord Reputo? She understands me very much. No, actually, it uh, sounds like she understands very little. Listening gold, to this anything in the this is going to give me a headache. You happiness, well, pleasure, listening to them everything talk rings desires, around each other it reminds me of... You cold, hard gold. It you kind of reminds me of in your hands years ago. You can see your face talking to rings around my brother. With it, you could buy whatever it is this lady offers you 100 times over. Mm, you do have a very good point, Lord Reputo. A hundred times over. Right. Okay. Oh damn it. Tell me. Not much cover around here. Yes. Very unfortunate. What's clear to me is that if it was truly gold you Maybe. sought, you would simply uh, keep the casino. I don't know how the fuck this works, but alright, it does work and that's what matters. Yourself. I think there are other things in this world I that know. interest you, Mr. Cloud. And I understand only too What's well that, that there are just Quit some Now, fuck. Wait, maybe. Yes, very unfortunate. Huh. I'm just kind of curious. <clears throat> oh. Let me just do a suicide run, see if it's... Yes, very unfortunate. What's clear to me is that if it was truly gold you sought, you would simply keep the casino for yourself. Oh, hang on, I think... I think it's... Well, there was something I could right-click on his belt. Yes, but I very unfortunate. Uh, What's clear to me is that how do I do this, yourself, though, without them immediately noticing the me? For yourself. I think there are other things in this world that interest you, Mr. Cloud. If I, I had an invisibility you. potion, I could do this, but... Okay, even if it's not... Like, I'm not actually entirely certain if the... If putting the key on his belt is possible, but there is some, certainly yes, something on his belt that I fortunate. want. What's clear? Fortunate. Just thinking What's maybe clear I to me is that if it was truly gold you off. sought, you would simply uh, keep the casino be for yourself. Here over there. Nah, I was thinking maybe I could pull off with a speed potion because, but no. All right. Yeah. Simply keep the casino for yourself. Fuck. I think there are other things in this world that interest you, Mr. Cloud. And I understand only too well that there are just some things that gold cannot buy. You see, Lord Reputo, she understands Fuck. me very much. 
No, actually, it sounds like she understands very little. Oh, so come on! in the city. Gold. That had better be rats I hear over there. Information from the mechanist manual that Pomac pilfered proved most helpful. <laughs> I love alliteration. He's already upgraded the cameras to allow our people to be seen without the alarm sounding. You'd think the rest would be easy, but the, sh but the shut off every 15 seconds part is built into the mechanism and can't be changed. Unfortunately, our unstaffed mechanic hated Pomac upstaging him and has since vanished into the building's crawlspace system. I've given Pomac a guard's uniform and sword in case there's an attempt on his life, but only the woman's, women's helmet would fit him. That 15 second pause is now a security breach. I'll talk to budgeting. What the fuck happened to the mechanic? Everyone with the mechanic. It vanished into the ventilation system. What, what a weird guy. Is someone there? <coughs> okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Hey, you! Stop! Ah. So yeah, there is something this way. But is there actually anything this way? You are doomed! Does not- Oh! However, Lady Antoinette's bid is not plain at all. Ha! It is I fascinating. That is the very reason I still contemplate. <laughs> oh, maybe. You see, Lord Reputo. Mr. Cloud is beginning to- Maybe. You understand? Okay, let's see if this is possible. <coughs> what was that? Uh. Just there? rats again. <coughs> I must have been imagining things. Hi. Contrary to the usual arrangement, Lady Antoinette has requested at the last minute that the meeting be held next door, in the garden, rather than in arbitration. Please change all patrols and services accordingly. Alright. I'm not certain whether that was... That's helpful or harmful to me. I'm <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mr. Cloud, is it not clear to you that this lady takes you for a fool? My bid, unlike the bid of Lady Antoinette, has been made plain. It sits before you. Why do you still contemplate? Oh, yes, Lord Rebuto. Your bid is very plain. Very plain uh, indeed. However, Lady Antoinette's bid is not plain at all. It is fascinating. And that is the very reason I still contemplate. <laughs> I should have taken out that you guard, see, so Lord he'll Rapido. probably see me. Mr. Cloud is beginning to understand the scope of my intentions. I speak yep. of goods that do not have a value set in stone. Mr. Cloud must decide for himself what my offer is worth to him. No? Thus you must explain them. That is the point of this meeting. Huh. That's surprising, but alright. How can he determine the value of these goods when you have not told us what they are? I demand that you explain oh, no, the exact no, nature of your bid, so that Mr. Cloud may properly determine if your bid is in actuality higher than mine. <laughs> so you can simply outbid me? I think not. Oh, my dear Lord Reputo. I should think I prefer to keep it's you nothing. in there, the dark. There, the key's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing I can on Cloud's worry. belt. I don't on intend to hold belt? anything from Mr. Cloud. I didn't and his <laughs> and his pouch is in mine. That is once we've had I now see why the boss either. likes you so much. Well, hey, Sheen, I may have to steal your I have date. a bottle I've been saving for a special Hell, occasion. I need to buy him a drink. After I have lined You've your done well, with gold, You can make your way back to the Ivy Rose entrance. Now that was some flat. And Dante, I look forward to tonight. Lady Antoinette, for marrying your desire to as much spirits as you would like. 
Oh yeah! I am just going above and beyond! Which is funny because the whole reason I wanted to do that was because I had no idea how to get into his damn bedroom or whatever it was. And to think some of them were worried about me, the newcomer, being an inexperienced agent that might falter under pressure. Shows what they know. They may have years of experience as agents of the Circle of Stone and Shadow, but I've been Garrett, I've been Connell, I've been Zaya, and countless others. They may be master agents, but I am a master thief. Hello? Just hmm? rats again. What was that? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Wait, no. Is that wood or is it not? And can I get up there? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, we're in business. Just have to think of get the right just have to find the right angle. Yeah. I can in fact open the window. Okay. Okay, I think I need to, I think I know what I need to do. Hang on, and this isn't Oh, that's a moss arrow. Fairly certain I can't hook it into this. I stand correct Oh right! Plaster! I forgot about uh, that. Plaster works too, because, well, for obvious reasons. The same reason wood does. Alright. That was astonishingly loud. Maybe just because I was so close to it. I don't know. Huh. I'll leave this fine arrow. I've got plenty. Well, I've got three. That's the wrong window. God damn it. Always something. Remember to save? Yeah, okay, good. Alright. Alright. I'm in. Business. Uh, prices are rising in Three Gates Bridge. Maybe if the casino is sold, I can buy from Reputo's dealers. Santa's costs more, but guests ask for repeat services more often. Maybe charge two gold extra each instead of five gold flat. Right, a kind. A new request after a guest like the uniforms. Soft and tough. Makes good clothing. Proscribed by Hamrite superstition, though. Maybe now that the mechanists are on the rise, we can deal in hides. I'll order extra from Smoothian and Beltham. Taken trinkets. A special gift for sweet residents. Very much the fad among the higher class. Easy to acquire. Just send Mandarin, Idor, and whatever. Bilal. Down to the docks with some hired hands. Right? That seems like something I should be copying. Hoping for some valuable. Ooh! My hopes might just have. What? Ah, here we go. Head accountant's key. Boom! Wow, that was what? 500? Was it maybe even more? Bloody hell. Head accountant. Paid well, and so do I for my daring escapade. All right, I'm barely certain I found everything on this floor. 
I wonder if I can find any more of those copy kits, because the objective for copying any important documents hasn't been finished, and I would and I would think there would be at least three. Just because of the, you know, rule of three and all that. Hang on. Hang on a second. I had a thought, but then I lost it. Or maybe I didn't have a thought, and I just thought I did. Right. Right, I was just thinking that maybe Reputo or one of his guards or something would have the key to the monarch suite. But if that is the case, then I probably, and I almost certainly will need an invisibility potion to get it. I wonder if... Someone there? Good. Yes! Finally! Well. Finally got the key to this. I don't know where. Uh, what keys do I have? Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Switch somewhere around here. <clears throat> Does not seem like it. But what there is, it's quite a bit of loot. <clears throat> I assume. Yes. But wanting to loot this place it's like episode one. Ooh, that was like 250 or something, or 200, or at least 200. Oh, blimey. The situation's getting slimy. 300, oh yeah. Maybe they were both 300 even. I don't know, I, keep, I don't keep track of my loot as much as I used to. Okay. Oh, is that a copy kit? There. What do we see there? What's that I see? Yes. Seems <clears throat> clear. Just rats again. Oh my god. Some kind of safe cracking thing? Uh. Can I hear it? I think I have food any of this. What was that? Ah. Uh, gonna have to come back to this later, aren't I? That's unfortunate. Hmm. Yes, it's alright for Peter to play with the money. In fact, you shouldn't have given them that 200 golden chips in the first place. If they win anything, at chance, or want to return their chips, they can come back tomorrow to get the difference. You can leave as soon as the gong rings and the shift change, since the head accountant wants the ledger to finish early tonight. Besides, yeah. I thought I saw something. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh well, I guess it was nothing. All right, they seem to be noticing me a lot, but not actually <clears throat> properly noticing me, which is just as good as if I was completely illuminated. So I'm not. I don't mind. How do I get in? I wonder how I get into the guard captain's office. That sounds like something I'd want to do. Ah! What the hell is going on here? Well, well, look what we got here. Hi. Guard! Hey, oh, here! Event! Ah! 
interesting. Ah! Ow! Fuck. But how the fuck am I gonna get to that vent? Let's see. Because I don't think- it doesn't seem feasible to get to that vent without them noticing me. Maybe if they- Something's wrong here. Now I'm gonna find hey, out what it here. is and I'm gonna tear it down. No. Your hours. Hey, hold it right oh, there! Hey. Well, actually, maybe if I use up if I use up a couple of my knockout drops, if I had one gas arrow, I could pick them both out probably. Did you see that? I shouldn't even be here. I should be. <laughs> You've messed with the wrong over here. Oh, oh no. Just had to start coming over here the instant I do that. Fuck. Oh, fuck this. Maybe I can find another way in. Let's just, I'm just gonna go back, okay, go back out. I'm gonna get, do what I was planning to do. Just to go up to the, go up on the railing. So I can get into the clubhouse. <sighs> it's impossible to find anything in my inventory. Do I get blocked? Huh? No. No. Don't end the mission. <laughs> Here we go. At long last. Only have money to do since the since like the start of the previous episode. We're now doing in the middle of the this one. All right. Oh thank there. goodness. If that, if that had turned out to be locked and unlocked pickable and everything, I'd have been so mad. Come on now. What was that? Shit. No, uh, damn you, don't Wish the done thing and the low thing weren't so damn close. No! What's that? Oh, Ooh, another one of those gambling machines. You can get a cool. Ooh, wow, quite a few of those, in fact. I sure hope he's not patrolling close enough to the wall to see me. He is. Or not. Alright, there we go. Pavelski. He might be, though. Hmm. Strange noises. Strange things happen for no reason. Rolling in Moolah now, though. Hmm? Hello? No. Okay, that's that done. And 
unfortunately these are both guys with actual proper helmets. Or what passes for those. Ah. Damn it. Unlock fix. Fuck! Yet another door that I need a key to in a place that I already had to go through such lengths to get the key to. Bloody typical. Mm. Who goes there? What what that noise Who made that noise? Oh! Can I? No, of course I can't. Why would I ever be Just able to do anything I like that? You. Stop fooling around! Where are you? Can I fit through those? I feel like I probably could. Hmm. Strange noises. Who was that there? I saw something. <laughs> yep. Alright, good. Easy peasy. Hello? I just gotta... Something moved there. Run this way. See what's through here. Oh, I must be directly below the, uh, arbitration stuff. Ah. Oh, not quite blessed darkness, but close enough. <laughs> oh! Might that be what I- exactly what I'm looking for? Mayhaps. All right. Okay, I'm not sure what, how that benefits me, but all right. A hundred times over. That's quite a bold statement, considering you don't even know what it is that I'm offering. Exactly. Huh. Mr. Cloud, is all right. it clear to you that this lady takes you from a fool? That's not really that helpful for me. Yeah, fun trick. If you, you can actually move a lot faster in uh, in ventilation shafts and such like this. If you just if you just uh, press C again, Seriously, why am I opening these? What benefit does this have? See if I can find my way where I need to be. I am so fucking lost in this ventilation maze. Dear distinguished guests, thanks to your patronage of our excellent ventilation system, one of the best in the city, some security additions have finally been approved by budgeting. We have doubled and upgraded the cameras in both the security room 2 and the vault 4. I hope you enjoy these additions, Mr. Developer. Okay.
Oh, hang on. I must be above the camera room. That doesn't help me in the slightest. Fuck. Here we go, third floor. Now where's that closet? Right. No, left actually. Here we go. Dude, there we go. I finally got it because you just decided not to grab it. Uh, okay. Lock the door to the clubhouse that, that already carried drunk guard from Pearl Bar to the foreman's office. Jesus Christ, I guess I'm going to have to take out those guys, I guess, because it seems impossible to do otherwise. Lockable school case to the monarch, to the monarch suite. Leave it outside. Oh. Sweet. Suit to room 304, soap to room 309. Where's the fuck is the suit and soap? What? Well, I still haven't need actually used this damn stool. <laughs> there was that letter about the soap. There, let's see, there was a letter about the, in the foreman's office about the suit and a letter over in the front desk. It's a soap. Maybe they have some information? Uh, what was the floor? Hang on. Said it was it was brought to his floor. 304. Damn it! Ah crap. I'll have to go back up to <laughs> Shut up! I've heard you say talk about the Damn electrical system! F fucking 12 times now! I don't care about the electrical system! Look, I spent this entire damn episode running around in vents. Go! Oh, this is the wrong damn floor, too. Ah! Why is it so hard to make functional doors? Wait, Jesus Christ. That is atrocious. Oh, minister suit. This week. Did I seriously never actually go this way? Alrighty then. Neat. Let me guess, this can't be locked. But... Oh, wonders of wonders. They're all right, but not the right ones. All right. Ah, here we go. What's that I see? What about the self? Ah, here we go. Who's noising about then? Where the- there we go. Come on, coward. Face me like a man. What if I'm a woman? Alright, now room What was it? Two oh nine. Have to go through this crap. Oh, it worked perfectly. I just had to uncrouch before I went there because that's a completely intuitive mechanic. Oh. 
209. Okay, where do I put it? There. Okay. Like a school case to the monarch suite. Leave it outside. Ah, here we go. Lockable school case. All right. What else? Pearl bar. God fucking damn it. All right. And to face that malarkey. Again, if I had an invisibility potion, well, I probably wouldn't use it here, honestly. I'd just get that. Oh. I wonder. What effect does it have if I throw dust bombs at people? Okay, but are they loaded? No! Oh! Now. What do we see there? Hmm. Hey, the After him. Ah, but it lasts so little time. Probably have to loop around. Did you notice anything? You see that? You see nothing. Okay, I think I got away with it. They've they're alerted, but they're well, they're We've got an intruder. not entirely. Hey, quick! He's getting away. Just watch out! There's one someone mistake. in the building. Well, they're alarmed, but not Our alerted. Guy here. Maybe they're you another way around. Back. I'm not certain. I'll find you. The I'll point is, you. I don't think they're gonna raise Fight the alarm. Me, you coward! Watch out! There's someone in the building. Bitch. Yeah, don't. Uh, I got the objective. Don't set off the alarm. Okay. All right. I think I got away with it. More or less. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, flares. I really don't care. I have never really found a use for flares in the original game. Don't think I'm gonna find one here. Oh, this is slow. But I can't just leave this guy. <laughs> Which makes it sound like I'm rescuing him or something. <laughs> I can't just leave him. Uh, where did it say to... Being the witch, I didn't say to carry him to the foreman's office. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh, that sword is being highlighted. Uh, what did I just get? Guard captain's key. All right. That must be to this specific area. Yay. It doesn't even go to the damn light. Ah, these... What's the point of having all these... L Which is if they can't... If nobody has the keys to them. Ooh, 300. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, tra la la. Seriously though, all that work for like 300 bucks? That'll be something more to this. There's gotta be something better than this for. Mate, one of these books is probably a switch. Ooh. 2814. Interesting. Don't know what that's for. Maybe the safe? Gotcha. Alright. 
I'll leave the guard behind here for later. It'll only slow me down. <laughs> This, these vents are great disrepair. Well, maybe this is intentional. I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. Where does this lead? This is taking me a long fucking distance. This outside? Yes. Huh. Oh! We're here! Oh, that's how you get into here. Alright! Better be worth it. Let's see. D8. And that was only like 50. Suppose the key to here. Gotta be more than just 50 bucks here. Hang on. About this. No? Nothing. There. Oh. Invisibility potion! Holy shit! Ah. Crowley, everyone's worried about what will happen if the casino's sold. That's out of our hands. We need to talk about what happens if it isn't. Cloud's gone fatty and clearly interested in getting out of the business, and I don't want this place falling into the hands of the highest bidder. How is already with me on this one. The three of us need to talk to Ronal and see what the cripes Cloud is planning. Maybe we won't have to get rid of him, but if we must, we will. Then we buy this place ourselves and run it like it should be run. Think three-way partnership. I mean, who better to own this place than the sods who run it? Not a word of this to Gretchmer, uh, or especially Ruckenel. That greedy bastard will stab us in the back the first chance he gets. That seems like an important document. Uh, where's the copy thing? Oh! All right. So that still isn't completed though, but maybe it won't ever be. I don't know. All right, we got another important document. And we got an invisibility potion, which if my suspicion is correct, might just land me the Monarch 3 key. But I've been uh, wandering off for ages. I think it's time to take a break. Next time, I'll... I'll, prob I'll probably go back and secure that, uh, that drunken prisoner. Then... Go up. Back to the garden. And see if I can snag a key. Or 12. I still don't know how to get to the ambassador suite, though. Did I get a key to that? So uh, no. All right. Well, until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm Barry P. And remember. Dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.